My name is Jason Kim. I've been working in the games industry in Montreal, Quebec for, about, for 10 years now. Our first game, War of Zodiacs, it's a, uh, it's a tactical JRPG that's mixed with board game mechanics like uh, cards and dice. Through the story, you'll be uh, taking your, uh, your char your, the hero, uh, Vice, you'll be taking him and you'll be gathering a party around you as you're going on your journey. And you'll be bringing a party of five into battle. Uh, so that like different players can have can have different favorites, uh, and during during battle you'll be uh, you know your party against the enemy army, of uh, moving your units around. And uh, at this part it'll be very traditional uh, tactical game, moving your units around, placing them, splitting them up to uh, take advantage of uh, territory and approaching from multiple angles. Uh, what's really unique about this game and what I wanted to put the most amount of focus on were it was the uh, the cards and the dice mechanic. I wanted to take that experience of board games that I love of the the surprise that comes from playing of when you're going to roll the dice, when you're going to uh, when you're drawing cards. It's that anticipation that builds up of like what am I going to get? What am I going to? Am I going to get that card that I need? You know, and then your anticipation is building, the tension is building, you flip it over and you look, and either it's that, that feeling of like, yes, I did it! I drew a random card and I won! But then there's also the opposite of that, where you draw a card and it's like, I did not want this card, what am I going to do with it? Oh no! But then you start, try you start thinking, you start planning, alright, what can I do with this card? So like, you're really, you're building a lot of your tactics around what you have, and, but also what you, th what you think you'll get in the rest of your deck because you put that deck together. So you have a rough idea of what's in there. So for the story, I wanted to, uh, like the classic JRPGs that, that I grew up on, I wanted to tell a very uh, coming-of-age story, uh, and you know the traditional coming-of-age story where uh, a kid, a small kid from a small village, uh, gets seeks adventure and goes out into the big world, and then and gets uh, involved in a in in a plan in, in in a problem that's much bigger than him or herself, and so has to grow and become the adult and you know come of age and become the adult that they need to be. But I wanted to put, I, I want to put a spin on it where it, I, I want the question of what if our, what if the character, the hero, Vice in, in this game, what if Vice can't become that hero? What if he can't handle the burden of responsibility that's, that's been forced onto him that like, that he has to choose between like sacrificing, uh, sacrificing myself and, and like doing what I need to do, like to save the world that everyone around me is pushing on to me and pressuring me to do, or do, do I like, or I realize I don't want to do this. I want to have my own life. I want to have a family. I want to live in my sleepy, quiet village where I grew up. His, his uh, best friend, Nami, uh, she is a, she's basically someone that was taken from uh, from uh, from her faraway land, like essentially stolen by uh, by nobles of uh, of the enemy country. But, like since she came from a different land, and, and dropped into this completely foreign land to her uh, when she was young, she doesn't have much of a sense of identity, and uh, she she doesn't know what who am I? Like what is my identity? This because this is their identity, not mine. So she's, she's trying to find, find that in the game, and uh, we'll find that through her backstory. On, on the enemy side, uh, it's the, uh, the, the Torin uh, general. The, the enemy nation is called the, uh, the Torin Empire, and uh, the, their army is being led by a general that I wanted him to be a very sympathetic character that, like, that if you were on his side, you would be able to understand who he is, because I want him to be a fully, like, uh, a fully fleshed out character that there's more, again, there's more to him than, than it seems, and so that, so, like, I mean, it, it's kind of like, in, in a different lifetime, I could have called you friend type of thing, but unfortunately we're on different sides of this war. Uh, 
uh, on the art side, like, I mean, we're working on a concept art for the world. If you go on our website, uh, uh, cardboard-utopia.com, you can see in progress uh, art that Jin is doing. And you can see, you, you know, you can kind of watch as things get developed and get to see the iteration process. Ultimately, we're looking to uh, be finally released in uh, roughly August uh, 2015. And, uh, but one of our immediate things we're doing right now is we're putting a, a pitch, a campaign for the Square Enix Collective. Uh, it'll have a, a lot of description of the story and the, the world and the characters that have a lot of art and some um, uh, mock-up gameplay screenshots in there. And uh, so with the Collective, people can go there and they can vote like, are you interested in this game? Yes or no? Uh, hopefully yes. Sound off in the comments and just let us know how uh, you know how we can make this game better.